Generating test case data is a time-consuming task, especially if one has to enter thousands of entries before each test case. In today's video, we'll show you how you can use ChatGPT to generate an Excel sheet filled with all the relevant test data for your testing within a few minutes. I'm asking ChatGPT if it can generate an Excel sheet with the relevant dummy data and it responds that it can generate. It asks for test case scenario with specific fields, data types, or particular values. For now, I already have a sample test case of a small business owner who wants to understand the financial health of a company. The owner also wants to understand the areas of cost reduction and revenue improvement. The scenario includes a compilation of all financial transactions, income expenses, assets, and liabilities. Based on that create monthly and yearly financial statements with profit and loss, balance sheets, and cash flow statements. I've asked it to create separate sheets within the file for each parameter. Since I need almost 160 entries of test data in each of these sheets, I explicitly mention it. It's also a good practice to state that the data has to be relevant. As soon as you enter the specifics, ChatGPT would get down to crunching the data and generating the test data. Depending on the test case and volume of the data, it could take a while for the file to get generated. Here's a quick preview of what's happening behind the scene. There you go. ChatGPT has generated the Excel sheet with the test data. Once the link is generated, we should be able to download it and check if everything is good to go. When I checked the generated Excel sheet, it only had a single sheet and was incomplete. So now, I ask ChatGPT to generate the Excel sheet again, but this time I mention that it needs to create other sheets, and since it's financial data, I prefer the currency mentioned is in USD. It once again starts to generate the file, while adhering to the additional instructions given. But trust me, even with a few mistakes here and there, it is easier to get the data generated through ChatGPT than to do it yourself. It also cuts down the time significantly. Wonderful. The data set required is generated. It has transactions where all the particulars like income, expense, expense category, assets, and liabilities are displayed. The profit and loss has all the particulars. So does the balance sheet and cash flow statements. This is great so far, but I'd like some more parameters and data for my testing. I'm asking ChatGPT to add more data to the sheets. That way, I will be able to understand the output capability of ChatGPT. For the purpose of the demo video, I'm sticking to 250 rows of data per sheet, but feel free to try out more based on your requirement. If ChatGPT won't generate, you can break it down and generate in batches.
Okay, since I'm looking to create test data for the use case, e-commerce, I might as well include a sheet called inventory. Under the inventory sheet, I'd like to include products, product categories, and product types, so ChatGPT can create test data complying with the parameters. Hmm. I think laptops, gaming consoles, and one more product category will do. Guess we'll have to wait till it's generated. It's ready now. Let me quickly show you the generated file. This is the updated spreadsheet or Excel sheet with all the necessary test data. I'm scrolling down to check if there's 250 entries in the sheet. And it's there. But I'm keen on checking the inventory sheet. I'd like to check if it's done a good job in categorizing the product types and products along with the prices. Oh, looks like it has generated a product ID, categorized the products, and included the quantity plus pricing. This functionality is really important if you're doing a test case analysis for custom supply chain management softwares, e-commerce platforms, and other accounting software. Guess it will save a lot of time. Hope you found this quick walkthrough video useful. Until next time, thanks for watching.